We came out here for an estimate for a hoarding cleanup about a month ago, saw the situation, realized that you know a, a clean out was going to be a little bit too expensive. We just decided to, uh, to do it on our own. Good morning, guys. Uh, welcome back to Nashville. Um, today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, we have uh, an individual, a dull guy um, with some, some disabilities. Uh, we came out here for an estimate for a hoarding cleanup about a month ago. Um, I met, uh, we'll call him Jacob. I met Jacob um, and he kind of just touched our hearts a little bit. Uh, he's had a really unique story. Um, when he was a baby, he was premature. He was in the NICU. Um, his nurse, who nursed him back to, to health, ended up adopting him and raised him. Uh, he's 33 now. Uh, she recently passed. So when we heard the story, uh, saw the situation, realized that you know a, a clean out was going to be a little bit too expensive, we just decided to uh, to do it on our own. So we're going to donate all of our labor. We got a red box plus dumpster. It's donated. We're gonna be out here for a day cleaning out the house. All right, so our goal today is to clean out the house. So we're removing all the unwanted items. We're not doing any cleaning today. We'll probably have to come back next week and do that. We've got blue tape markings on everything that has to leave. As we go through, everything in the bathroom's going. First off, obviously the, the trash we're getting, we all this stuff. And we're usually we'll split up. So we'll have like one person per room so we can get done faster. But right now we're doing this first so we can put the cat in here for the only glitches. Yeah, sometimes depending how bad it is and how big the room is, it's just best to have as many people as possible just working on the same room. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes if it's a big living room, um, you have to clear that out so that you can get into the other spaces, into the other homes. Like if it's a hallway that goes into the other rooms, mm -hmm. you'd have to clear that out first. She passed away, so we're helping take care of her autistic son, and that's who's living in the house now. So this is a an attempt to uh, help start fresh and get new rhythms for for our friend. The <laughs> only thing I don't like about this job is they make fun of my bald hat. Switch. Hey, 
until we get everything out because we can't really see the extent of the grime, the filth, until everything is gone. And then, well, like on the last day, if this was a multi-day job, the last day we're here, I'll do an estimate for how much Marcy Petroselli Cohen. I'm with Waves Incorporated. Waves is a nonprofit that offers services to adults and children with intellectual developmental disabilities. We started in 1973. Uh, it was a group of families that came together in Fairview, Tennessee, that wanted something other than what society was offering at the time for their loved ones with disabilities. At that time, uh, the, the options were basically institution or stay home with their families and kind of really not have a, a fulfilled uh, life. So they came together and thought, you know, we're going to create something different. We want to make waves in the disability community. And they did just that. And we support roughly 1,400 individuals, uh, children, adults, families a year. Um, so. Within our service field, we operate two day programs under our adult services umbrella. We operate two day programs, um, residential uh, opportunities, which are 24 seven staffed housing with in the community, um, just integrated throughout very uh, nice, peaceful neighborhoods, safe neighborhoods. 
um, a semi-independent living opportunity where adults can live independently, but just need some supports to lower the barriers um, for maybe some financial assistance, um, medical oversight, transportation, connections to the community. Um, really without that program, those individuals likely would not be living on their own. They would be in a different environment because they're just such important um, uh, parts of life that uh, you have to manage day to day. So we fill that gap for them. Our two adult day programs are skill building programs. We meet individuals where they are and their level of independence. Um, and we try to further that through uh, skill building and independent living skills training, employment training. Uh, there's a huge focus on employment training. The community has come a long way um, with opening their doors to the disability community. They're amazing employees that hadn't been given a chance prior. Um, and now they're really, uh, they're, they're working in places all over, you just couldn't imagine. So that's really come a long way. It's got a little ways to go, but that's part of what WAVES is doing. We educate the community as well. Um, we have uh, lots of standalone services for individuals that have more individualized services um, all throughout Williamson County and beyond. And then we have an early learning program. So the early learning program it's really great. I should have started there. The early pro the early learning program works with individual babies, zero to four, um, and they're meeting those, uh, they're identifying barriers to their development, and then coming in and working with the families to provide resources, training, um, so they can overcome those small barriers, those milestones that all of our children, you know, we worry about. Are they sitting up? Uh, on time? Did they roll over on time? Is their speech on time? So our specialists are amazing. Our, interve our interventionists um, go out into families' homes, into natural settings, and uh, provide that training and uh, through play. So they make it really fun for the child, um, and they support, gosh, I think currently 500 to 600 children at the moment. Um, so really cool how we can start there and uh, progress through their adult life. So we basically provide services zero to the end of life. Um, you know, uh, it's really a well-rounded organization um, and basket of services where we can pretty much meet an individual child anywhere they are in their path in life and step in and try to provide some sort of support and service that can help them uh, progress to their full potential. And thank you to Spalding and Deacon for the opportunity um, to be here and our partnership and the work that they do alongside organizations like our own um, to provide services and opportunities for the disability community. Thanks so much. <laughs> Yeah. You can't fit it in the dumpster, okay. so we're just going to put it in the van. Oh, the box. Slam! This one too? Yeah. Yep. That's yeah. it. So wherever we can fit it in the van. Yeah. That van is completely empty. So. That's like, please. Alright, so we're wrapping for the day. It's about 3.30. Um, so about six hours of work. This was one of the biggest bedrooms. We had to remove everything, so all the furniture that came out of here, um, the bed, closet's empty, everything's out. Um, swept up. We're not doing any cleaning again today other than just sweeping off the dirt and so. stuff. Um, this is Jake's bedroom. So we kept some of his big, nice furniture that he wanted, his bed stays, um, and then everything else got sweeped out. Bathroom, cleaned out, not clean. In the living room was couch and a couple big pieces of furniture over here. Um, so everything is out of here and gone, ready to be cleaned. Into the kitchen. So everything out of the cabinets done. Everything except for under here because there's some good cleaning supplies that we left. This is Raven. Raven's magical working in here so so yeah uh fold up dumpster made a couple trips to the vans did everything we could to get it done in one day for them i think we did everything they were expecting the only thing we didn't have room for is the shed so the shed's still full but we'll be back next week to do the cleaning piece and, and finish it up so
Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.